even there we see the blessing coming to the nations. And then we have passages like Galatians 3, 29, Romans 9 through 11, all of that, Romans 4, connection to Abraham is just somewhat lost. <laughs> on classic dispensationalists, thank, thankfully it seems that as time moves on, there's been more of a shift where there's more of a convergence upon more biblical, theological, and reformed type ecclesiology, but it's going to take some time. You know, with the with the death knell of dispensationalism, it's the use of the old and the new. Yeah, we have made great strides. Mm. Greg Beal is a pioneer. He really is a pioneer. He's one of probably four guys that pioneer that field, and the results of their work is the death knell of dispensationalism because it can't hold it can't hold up to the use of the old and the new. Can't hold up. Yeah, can't it can't it cannot take the blows. Mm-hmm. And we will witness. And I think so. Um, Tim Lee died what, like five years ago, six years ago, something like that. Um, that's 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 a symbolic death. It really is. And I, you know, there will always be a remnant. You know, to get back to Romans nine to eleven, <laughs> there will always be a remnant of uh, dispensationalists. But I don't think it will ever enjoy. It will never enjoy. I think the favor. And so what you have then is you have the decline of dispensationalism. Uh, and then coinciding with that, it's sort of the you know one kingdom falls and the other one rises. So what happened is now the resurgence of of Calvinism among a younger group, and you guys may even be part of that. I don't know, but a younger group people through the ministries of John Piper and ironically John MacArthur. Yeah. Um, uh, really, so you you really have this young, uh, youthful desire to now read the Bible as a whole. And so now what they're looking for, because they're more Baptist, what they're now looking for is an alternative, hence progressive covenantalism. Do you see? So that's yeah. really because they don't want to go full on reform, big R. They want to go reform, little r. So they have now produced a different, an alternative to dispensationalism. Do mm-hmm. you see? That's try to, that tries to be more robust. Yeah. And when it comes ways. to the use of the old and the new. Yeah. In it's really ways. a fascinating, fascinating, somebody, I wish somebody would, I'm not a historian, so I'm not the guy, but I would be fascinated for somebody to map all of this out because it's unfold. it has unfolded before our, our eyes the last 15 years. 